Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the vampire, Alone in the Darkness. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this solo slash cooperative slash traditional tabletop role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the dark gifts and the scenario. One of the essential characteristics that vampires receive from the shadow demons inhabiting their bodies is the set of powers known as the Dark Gifts, incredible powers that make them unparalleled predators. Each case has three Dark Gifts, one being completely exclusive in character creation. You must choose three powers from those available in the Dark Gifts of your case, but you can acquire other powers later on in the game. You have things such as Erase Memories. The vampire makes a mind manipulation check, and if successful, they can enter the target's mind and erase any event that has happened in the last 24 hours. There is also Manipulate Shadows. The vampire makes a mind knowledge check, and if successful, they can manipulate existing shadows, either increasing or decreasing their size or even shaping their form. There is also Libido of the Succubus. The vampire makes a presence manipulation check, and if successful, they make their target sexually attracted to them throughout the night. Then we have Resist Injuries. The vampire ignores two damage taken by any source, not cumulative with any type of armor, and receive four extra hit points. We also have Animal Dominion. The vampire makes a presence survival check, and in case of success, they make irrational creatures serve them in the best possible way for one night. Then we have Animate Corpse. The vampire makes a mind knowledge check, and in case of success, they reanimate a dead body that will serve them for one night in the best way it can. There is also Mental Needles. The vampire makes a mind manipulation check, and if successful, they cause great pain directly in the target's mind, undermining their willpower. Then we have Assume the Beast. The shadow demon that lives inside the vampire manages to completely model its host's body, transforming it into an animal. Then we have Control Insects. The vampire makes a presence survival check and, if successful, manages to attract and manipulate many insects of all kinds that are common to the region where they are. The insects will do whatever the vampire desires. We also have Manipulate Bodies. The vampire makes a mind knowledge check and, in case of success, manages to make permanent aesthetic changes on a body, such as the size of the nose and the mouth, the shape of the ears, eye color, etc. And these are just a few of the powers. There are many more gifts. You are able to produce claws from your hands. You are able to take the form of a swarm of insects. You are capable of boosting your strength. And depending on your result, each one of these powers can achieve greater effects. Then we have details on creating the scenario. After creating your character, it's time to set the stage where your vampire will venture. To do so, just choose the tiles in this section. Using at least one of each tile is recommended to implement greater diversity during playtime, since each type presents 20 random events. You have tiles such as the new city, the old city, the industrial district, the harbor, and the fields. Don't forget to use a marker to define where your vampire's initial haven will be. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the rules. I really like the dark gifts. They allow you to produce many effects, many astonishing changes that are so characteristic in all forms of vampire fiction. And the scenario is very easy to set up, but definitely you want a good variety of tiles because each tile represents a set of encounters that you can experience and enjoy. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. 
This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.